I don't. Oh my god, what are you? Welcome, Digidees, to Dome Keeper. We are the keepers of the domes. Not to be confused with the gnome keepers. Keepers of the gnomes. Ooh. We're gonna start on a new game here. Let's exactly see what this has to offer. I've been seeing it around on YouTube on a few creators' platforms, so I thought, why not go give it a try? Let's jump into it. Drop it in from orbit. We are on a small map on normal mode. I just installed this. So we don't really have a whole lot of modes unlocked yet, but boy, we are traveling through the atmosphere at the speed of light. We're gonna be crashing on down on some type of planet here. We'll see what we have in. Oh no, little boy, look out! Well, uh. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> All right, how about we get started? You know what, DigiDees, today I got myself a new keyboard. That's right, I have myself a now quiet keyboard. I don't know exactly how well this is going to come through or if it'll come through at all on the mic, but I think now because it is quiet, we should be doing a lot better. But the precipice of this game is that, well, you just kind of mine. You mine around, you just get resources, and everything is all perfectly safe and dandy. Nothing's going to go wrong at all. Ooh, what do we have here? So we'll see what these resources really are. We have, what is this, like copper of some sorts? And we can go ahead and collect these with spacebar and kind of drag them up and into our dome. And these resources are going to help us get upgrades to help just kind of defend ourselves against what might be out there in the distance. I mean, this is Dome Keeper, and I think our main objective is to just kind of defend ourselves. If we do something like that, we can go ahead and get a little bit of copper, and we have an entire tech tree. Let's see, we are a laser dome. Now, let's see exactly what we all have here. I did play the demo every, like, once before, back when it was, like, very, very new, but they seem to have changed a lot. This place a time until the next wave of hostile life forms attack. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty useful. Just to know exactly when they're becoming next is going to be great. Back down to the mines. I yearn for the mines. Oh, and look at that. We do actually have a little meter down there in the very bottom left on when the next wave is going to attack. Beautiful. Well, we need to go ahead and exit the computer and see if we can go ahead and mine up a little bit more before the next wave comes. I bet we can get a little bit of this copper. The time is running out, though. The time is running out. I bet I can get this copper, collect it all. Oh, no. We are a little bit too heavy. I wonder if I can drop one somehow. Yeah, press Q to drop one. We need to get up to the top. Looks like four is about our max at the moment. And what do we have here? They are actually starting to attack us. We have one guy coming off to our left side. Move the laser around and fire. Oh, that seems to be doing all right, but we... Oh, actually, I take that back. There we go. Back down into the mines. They... Well, I yearn for the mines. I yearn for just being able to find what we can down here. I'm going to go ahead and take this up now before it starts falling down. It might be a little bit of a waste of time, but I think we'll be doing all right. But let's see here. Let's go all the way off to one side. Let's see. Why do we want to do this? It seems we can't mine anything up there, but we can mine on all these parts that have like a bit of a blocky type of system to it. Oh, we got some harder rock that we're trying to get through now. Okay, so we want to get an efficient mine going. Just go ahead and start taking out all the edges. I, I personally like kind of just get all the edges done and over with. So that way you can go ahead and see how big the area really is. Get this copper. Come on. Get that one out of the way. Get all the copper and drag it on up. We're going to be running out of time again. Come on. Faster. Faster. We're running out of time. They're going to be attacking any second now. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. We're only a little late, don't mind me. I feel like that's going to be a very common concept that uh, I'm going to be accidentally... <laughs> I'm going to be accidentally trying to get back way too late. He's right, you know. We already find ourselves getting into like some stronger rock down below. So why don't we go ahead and upgrade our drill strength? We still have seven left over. We can also improve our speed. We can improve the jetpack to carry more resources. Ooh. Personally, I think let's go ahead and take some speed. And do we have enough to upgrade anything else? Overcharge shield. Use water to manually overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. Oh, that sounds pretty nice, but we don't have any water at the moment. Go ahead and close out. Press A for battle. Okay, now we can start using our WASD to try to move over the laser. We're being hit again. Start firing. We got a shield down there in the very bottom left. See, it does recharge every round. Go ahead and exit out and start mining immediately. We need to be very timely about all this type of situation. Stronger drill now, so we are breaking through some of this rock a lot faster now. That is that is beautiful. Although I imagine there's probably going to be even more rock down below, like stronger rock. Here's some more copper. I think, did I, I think I got the upgrade where I can carry more material back up to the top. Ooh, you got some red. I'm not exactly sure what that red triangle is, but we don't really need to be, oh, we got even purples now. We don't really need to mine out that entire system above us because we already know what it has in store. We can probably do some avenues, though. Go ahead and just clear some of those out right here in the center as well. Let's get all this purple. Get all the purple. Get all the pink. Is, is that a pink or a red? 
I guess I would define that as a red. I mean, I have a blue light filter on my computer, so it kind of screws with all of the coloring a little bit. Get into the seats and... Oh, are we... What is that? That is... Oh, I don't like it. Now we have flying creatures that are starting to attack us from above. Luckily, they do seem to get taken out pretty easily. Oh, no. About to do damage to the shield. He lost our shield, and he does do a little bit of damage to the dome. Let's go ahead and exit, and can we go ahead and upgrade? We want to see... Displays the dome's structural health. You know what? That seems pretty useful. I don't know what our health is at at the moment. Ah, there we go. So we did take a little bit of damage. I see that the heart meter is down just a tiny bit. Okay, you repaired the damage to your dome with cobalt. So the purple triangles are... Those, that is cobalt. So I guess I'll call them red, simply because we do have purple orbs. Hardened dome starts to take less damage from monster melee attacks. Projectile damage is unaffected. Health capacity, melee damage reduction. Ooh, you know, I think let's go ahead and get that now. It's trying to save ourselves from taking damage at the moment. It's going to be more beneficial in the long run. We still need to get some of that copper. Copper seems to be our primary source of what we need to upgrade items. Ooh, yeah, not quite enough. I, I might need to upgrade the ability to carry more resources because I can only carry four at a time at the moment. Doing five is just way too slow. Carry strength. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the carry strength right now. We want to just... It's, it's taking way too long trying to get out of that. And we are running out of a little bit of time here. So let's go ahead and collect everything up. Oh, yeah, that is much better on the carry strength. We go even faster as well, simply because we can carry more. This cast is carrying less, technically. Bring this on up. Get ready for the next round. Sit in the seat and just wait for it. It's about to end and we're about to be coming. You know, let's even take a look at the upgrades. Can I upgrade my laser? I can, but I don't have enough. Add targeting sites to the laser showing where it is aiming. I mean, it's the laser. Fires in a straight line. Increase how much damage the dome shield can absorb. Oh, so that actually might help in the long run. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade that now because that'll prevent us from taking damage. But next time, I want to be focusing on getting more like damage in general. If anything, I wonder if I can upgrade how fast the, the laser kind of moves around on the map. It seems to be moving very slowly. All the way over. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Take him out before he gets here. Take him out. I can only take like one hit. Nice. There we go. Is that it? That is it. Get out of the seat. Let's go see if we can find more copper. Yeah, there's more copper. I'm definitely need more movement speed. It seems to take a while to get around to these places. Oh, what is this? Well, this is a little odd. Okay. Well, first of all, I love the sound. It sounds very retro-esque, you know, in a sense. I love myself a good retro kind of 8-bit type of game, which in a sense, I suppose, is kind of what it's like right now. See if I can carry up a little bit of copper at the same time. And we'll see exactly what this relic does for us. It's like a weird square-looking thing. It's like some it's like some type of artifact, I'd imagine. Ooh, I get a gadget. As a pro to your unit to your suit, which can trigger and sends out a pulse that reveals nearby resources, must be recharged and stationed under the dome. Okay. As a machine under the dome that slowly produces water through condensation or shred the gadget and gain two cobalt. I, I think the whole probe... The probe mechanic seems super useful. Oh, I did not put it up the copper. There we go. I think the probe mechanic seems pretty useful. I wonder if I can like pick it up. Hit F to emote to emit a pulse. Okay, and it shows that there's something like right around here. Oh, that's very helpful. That is, I like that. That's that's beautiful. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We got some more copper. We got some more water. Jump on in and see. Take a look at our upgrades. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade the move speed. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Luckily, they, he is coming on one of the sides where the laser is already looking at. But now that we got the move speed, it's going to be pretty helpful because we got to aim all the way on the other side. We got to do a 180 here. We got a whole bunch of... Oh, what are those? A bunch of little small dudes coming in. Oh, oh boy. We got a whole bunch of small yeah. boys coming up. They're doing a lot of damage. Can I get to the other side in time? Can I get to the other side in time? Take them out. Take them out mid-flight. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I didn't manage to get any of them. Okay, note to self, we need more damage. That's what we really need. We need more damage because that is not quite working. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces of copper we got with us? Get all that processed up and see if we can actually upgrade the laser damage a little bit. That's going to put us up to seven. Not bad, not bad. Take a look at our upgrades. Can we upgrade the laser strength? Yes, we can. Improve the power of your laser, but it'll move slower while firing. So that gives us 10 more damage. But speed while firing is reduced by like 30% almost. But it does also give more of a stun strength. I say let's go ahead and upgrade it because we were not doing enough to those small dudes. 
they're gonna be coming yeah they're coming from the left side let's go ahead and take these guys out before they get anywhere close and the big one is gonna be blocking my firing range a little bit take them out take them out let's see if i can take out the flying dude before he has a chance to move on over yep he's over on this side take him out i'm already taking quite a bit of damage i need to make sure to take him out before we lose our shield yes took out the shield now the whole boy the small boys are jumping in on us no no okay a little bit of damage but not too bad let's get out of the seat and go see what else we can find down there we already found the right edge of the map that's kind of nice because it allows us to oh what are you oh to increase my like my area that i can look at okay i'll take it not i'll, I'll take it that seems pretty nice to kind of like increase my zoom out view come on come on all right where's the next wave next wave is over on the left hand side luckily i can probably take out the flyer in time yes managed to take him out in time take out the small dudes hopefully I'll be, i should be able to take him out in time before all the rest yeah there we go there, there we go we got a whole bunch more on the right we still have a powerful shield at the moment and you know that's probably the end of the wave so what if i were to actually just jump out of the chair now and take advantage of this we still have some shield left i can probably take advantage of this get a little bit of extra time out of it yeah look at that now the wave meter just started beautiful we need to find more copper and excuse me what is this what are you guys doing are, are they trying to steal my resource oh a bunch of little like spider dudes on top of it trying to like take the resource away <laughs> okay noted we need to make sure that they don't lay sitting around for too long come on i gotta hurry up uh, we got more spiders down there can i carry all this all at the same time i don't think i can that's gonna be too much this is about my limit two hours later there is not quite enough room come on get on up there yes speed is going to take eight but another carry strength is going to be 12. i would rather get speed and drill strength at the same time yeah i think that's gonna be a beautiful combination they're coming over on the left hand side luckily we haven't i haven't seen too strong of enemies just yet our laser seems to be doing a pretty good job as is we want to go ahead and stop firing because it does slow us down while we're firing take them out we do have a lot of melee reduction i think these small guys are a little bit more important than that big guy off to our left hand side come on come on come on yep there we go and now let's go ahead and try to take him out and i can probably get out of the seat and let those small dudes run into the dome take him out yep and now let's go ahead and jump on out and get ourselves a little bit of extra time i'm just gonna go down in a straight line how deep can we go and can we find the rock bottom do the rocks get even harder there's some copper the rocks do get harder all right, it looks like it goes into a blue section. Yep, now it's taking even a little bit longer to get through this stuff. I'm just going to go down in a very straight line. We did find the bottom. This goes down pretty far. Not going to lie, that's, that's surprising. It looks like I don't have to hold the space bar to carry this stuff up, which is nice. A little bit of copper, get you a little bit more copper. Let's go ahead and make this. I actually need to drop a couple of pieces. We're a little bit too heavy. Did manage to get up here and see what kind of resources we have. How many are we going to have? We're going to have eight copper left over. I think I want to wait until we have 12. I might want to even start upgrading the laser too. I imagine at some point these monsters are going to get even stronger than what we're used to at the moment. We got small little, we can still got a whole bunch of the flood coming in on their left hand side. They remind me of like the little onion dudes from Halo. I don't know exactly what their name was. I, we always just call them little onions. Oh, we got one flying dude trying to hit us from above. And that does not count as melee damage, obviously, because they're shooting projectiles. So because of that, we're not getting our damage reduction on any of this. Get rid of some of these small dudes. Hopefully this other guy's going to fly around into my path. We're actually taking quite a bit of damage right now. I might want to invest into more laser speed more so than anything. Yeah, we are taking quite a beating at the moment. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, we need more copper and we're going to need some leftover cobalt to repair ourselves. loving the music i really love the soundtrack of some of these 8-bit games like these older style just polygonal well, bit games 8-bit 16-bit 32-bit i don't know however um <laughs> i don't know exactly the type of bit that they were looking at here but um i love the music i love the style it's very atmospheric and you know what? i'll even stop talking for a second just so that way you can listen Now, isn't that calming? If only it wasn't oversaturated by the idea that we are facing our impending doom. 
Now, I don't know if there is necessarily a ending to all this. It does, I think we're hunting for a relic of sorts. Go ahead and put off my scanner. And hey, speaking of relics, here is another relic upgrade gadget looking thing. Go ahead and clear out the area a little bit, get a little bit of time. We, it shouldn't take that much time to go ahead and carry that up. Making some good progress on these, especially when they only take a single hit to mine through. Can we get to the edge of the map? Yes, we can. That is the edge of the map. Beautiful. And this back over here seems to be the edge as well. That doesn't seem to go anywhere else. Let's go ahead and get that gadge and get back up before the time runs out. Let's see here. A condenser. That's the condenser that makes water underneath the dome through condensation. A resource converter can convert resources, helping you balance your resource inventory. Oh, that would be pretty nice. But honestly, I think... If we could get the resource converter plus the condenser, that would be a good combination because I would basically have an infinite source of water and I can consistently just convert that into into copper. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get the condenser because there isn't really any other reason. And that, that just means that I don't have to I don't have to worry about trying to bring that stuff back up if it's just going to be making stuff on its own. Go ahead and start the battle. Oh, what are you? What are you? That is a problem. I don't know what you are, but that seems like that is going to hurt if he lays off a shot. Oh, and they are taking a lot of damage. They are taking a lot of damage. Okay, luckily that flying guy came into my laser points. We're going to be hit by all those small dudes off to the left, but luckily we do have some of the physical damage reduction. That did a lot. Okay, we need to, we need to definitely go get some more copper. We need to start getting more upgrades on speed and power. Let's go see what we can find. Another relic. Oh, hang on a second. That's not a relic. That is... What is that? I'm not exactly sure what that is. So we managed to activate it by clearing it out, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I pressed a button and it seems to be glowing. Okay. Well, that's adorable, I suppose. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure. I see a little bit of like a signature of like a wire hanging down from the bottom. So maybe it's pointing somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I see some wires there that are starting to glow around the area, but we need some more copper, like, almost immediately pronto. Hopefully, we can find some around here before the next wave starts. We need just a little bit more. We need 24 to do more damage, and I think we really do need a lot more damage right now. Can we do any upgrades at the moment? We do have 21. We actually can upgrade the power at the moment. It only takes 12, so let's do that right now because we definitely are lacking on power, but now we need 24 in all of these if we want to do more. I'm definitely going to want power 3, because it goes from 45 up to 90 damage. That is a big increase. That is double the power. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save up for power three. 24 copper for that. Noted. Let's get into battle zone and get ready. Our health is pretty low at the moment. But according to that one upgrade that we got, it should, it should automatically use cobalt to save us if we are about to be taken out. Oh, but we are about to hit. We're about to get a lot of damage on us. They're shooting lightning. Hopefully they don't get off too many shots. Come on. Yes, beautiful. And that is already the wave over with. Get out of the seat. We need to find more copper. Oh, we found a little bit of a cavern that just has some cobalt sitting around. And I do see some copper that's sitting right here. Nice. You know, that, that cobalt will be good. But I want to go ahead and just bring all this copper up as much as I can at the moment. We are already running out a little bit of time, though, as well. Just start collecting it all. Collect it all. Come on, come on. Collect it as much as I can. Hopefully, I can be fast enough. I don't think we're going to be fast enough. I actually need to hurry up. I dropped a couple of pieces just so I can get back up in time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're definitely not going to get there in time. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're low on health. I mean, theoretically, it should heal us automatically. I hope it's going to heal us automatically. Uh, go ahead and grab. I d didn't have enough time to grab that water. Come on, grab the water. Yes. Get in the seat. Get in the seat. Battle zone. Battle zone. We got to focus on this left side because we already got two of these guys about to hit us. He did manage to get off a single shot. Got rid of the other guy before he did. Pick up the flying guy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that is close. It says it's going to use cobalt automatically. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. We are super close. It's going to give us a repair total of 15% HP. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just use up some of the cobalt right now to get us all the way back up to full. Because I, I really don't trust that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know how well it operates, and I don't want to find out. Yeah, I, we have this cable-looking relic area. I see it's glowing. I see that, and it's glowing downward. Let's go just down and see what it has in store for us. 
Oh, hello. So it definitely has something. And this is looking big. Is this like a huge upgrade or is this exactly what we're looking for? This might be just exactly what we are looking for. We have one cable going all the way down to this. Does that mean that there's gonna be more cables in other directions? Let's uncover it entirely. I'm not seeing a cable going anywhere else, but we do have this button here. Maybe they're in all like four directions. Let's go ahead and dig down and see what we can find. Oh, it's open. It's open. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Okay, that is the relic. I just got a cheat and call gifts from the past. Retrieve a relic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually also, we have a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and grab this cobalt as well. We should be able to do it just in time. Get up there in time, hopefully. Grab this cobalt. Come on, come on, come on. You don't have a whole lot of time. Get up there, get up there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Nice, there we go, there we go. Get in the seat. Wait for that stuff to process. Luckily, it does freeze time for us when this happens. Take a look at our upgrades. We don't have enough to necessarily get a whole lot, but we can upgrade our health. I, I honestly want to do drill strength at the moment. I think drill strength will be really important because it seems to be taking pretty long for some of this stuff. And now we still have eight. We have a little bit of water as well. Um, Strength further increase how much damage the shield can absorb. Uh, do we really need that right now? I want to save up. No, no, let's go ahead and save for... Let's go ahead and save for uh, a stronger laser and battle mode. Start taking these guys out. Luckily, we're already facing that direction. And hopefully we're facing that direction again. Yes, even more small dudes on that same side. I don't... Oh my God, what are you? I don't know what that relic has done, but um, I don't think... Okay, we need to get rid of this guy. There is a lot going on. <laughs> um, that guy seems like a boss. I, I kind of want to take care of the boss first. I'm just going to focus all of my damage on him. That relic didn't seem to do anything for us. He seems to have like some shield mode on at the moment. I'm going to start hitting this guy off to my left. Oh, God. Are we about to die? God, I hope not. Um, They are drilling into us. Can I go ahead and use my cobalt? Yeah, I'm going to use my cobalt that I can to upgrade. This seems like some type of like boss wave. We could even heal. No, we don't have enough copper for that. Okay, um, let's let's get back into battle mode. Keep hitting this guy off to our left side. He's drilling into us. That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh, God, we... Okay, I need to upgrade again. I need to use more cobalt. Is this the end? Is this the end of us? Get out of there and get... I'm going to start focusing on the main boss again. We don't have enough cobalt. Is this... Is this the end? Oh, it's the relic. The relic saved us. Achievement bite size. Complete the relic hunt on a small map. Your dome is saved. Oh, that was the end. I don't think we were meant to survive that. Well, that was something very interesting. I was not going to survive that. Maybe, maybe if I did more strength on my, on my laser originally, I could have actually done enough to take them out without the relic saving us. But who knows? We'll have to check out and see what happens in the next episode. So thank you, DigiDs, for watching the video. Make sure to like if you really like this video. Make sure to comment down below on your thoughts on this series. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I also don't know how to do any of these outros. But there is one thing that I know. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.